What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to Transport Fever and we're in Leeds and I haven't played this game for ages and there's a good reason for that because I rebuilt my computer and when I did I wiped the C drive so if we look at my save files, all gone. So I couldn't continue playing because if I went on like the map, the same map with the same mods and there was just nothing there, it's like hey guys welcome back, everyone would be confused. So we have a little bit of a backstory to this one. Let me just pause it real quick. And I'm also going to turn the music off because it's getting quite annoying. Basically, this map is a little bit different because I wanted to return to Transport Fever, but I didn't want it to be the same old stuff again and again. So we're on the UK map, something I have done before. I just, it didn't last very long. And we've got a backstory. So basically this guy, we're going to call him Gary, he started a little train uh, empire and transport empire and he wasn't very good at it and he'd spend lots of money on expensive stuff that he didn't need he had more lines than he needed and he just was not very good so eventually the board of directors got behind him and said look dude you're terrible at this so we're giving the control of the company to someone else and that person is me so now we've got his little empire which is not very good and we've got to turn it around to make money. That is the backstory of this game. See, it's different because we're not starting out from scratch. So there's none of that tedious having 20 grand to build a new line stuff. We've got 30 million in the bank. I think we can take out a loan. Yes, we can. So let's see how much we got to play with. Uh, 40. Damn, quite a lot actually. 50. Probably 60 million I would imagine. Uh, no. Oh my god, we've got like a hundred million to play with. Damn. We are actually making money, which is surprising. I just set this up quickly uh, to create the backstory because I wanted something different, as I said. Wow, we've actually got a hundred million to play with. Wow, that was unexpected. Okay. I thought we only had 30 million. But yeah, this backstory, and I turned the no cash mod on, so... Uh, to build this basically so I wouldn't run out of money instantly So we've basically got to get this crappy little empire and turn it around So let me show you what we're starting with. Oh, I bring up the lines. We've got the West Coast main line We've got the Midland main line We've got the Midland main line slow line. I'll explain that in a minute And then we got bus lines. We've got London Transport Inc. Not at all for copyright reasons and Brummy buses because Liverpool, uh, Birmingham even. <laughs> so in London, not much of a town. I had to demolish pretty much everything to get started. And we've just got a basic bus route going around there, picking up people, taking them to the station. And then we got in Birmingham, up here, which I didn't actually knock that much down, to be honest. We've got the main bus station there, opposite the station, which just takes people there and around in both directions. And there's no transport infrastructure in Liverpool other than the train station because everything's pretty much covered. Line-wise, we've got the West Coast Main Line, which is the red line, which goes from Liverpool, Birmingham, and London and back. Then we've got the Midland Main Line, which is this lime green coloured line in the middle, which just goes to Birmingham from London. And we also have the West Coast, uh, the Midland Main Line slow, which is just one train running back and forth on its own track which is an A3 train line uh, train wise we got as I said the A3 with five carriages flying Scotsman with four carriages and the Mallard with four carriages on the west coast main line because it's the biggest line and on the buses we just got these uh, what are they called sour tushas on all the lines so that's our startup and we need to now expand it so this actually makes money and becomes a good line as I said, this guy, Gary, who started this company, not very good. He built this giant brand new train station with all the modern technology like catenaries, a brand new fascia. And he's got far, uh, one, two, yeah, five, pl six platforms and he's only using three, which is kind of a waste. So we need to do something about that. And I'm thinking for our first move, let me just close this. I'm thinking we just start a new line from scratch. Would that be a good idea or would it be better to improve the current lines? Let's play this a bit because I want to see what the finances are like on this line. At the moment we're making money but that's not going to last long. One thing we do need to remember this 100 million it will have interest at the end of the year. Probably 10,000 
uh, pounds? I'm not entirely sure. So we are actually getting passengers, which is surprising. Um, I want to see at the end of the month if this is actually making money. I doubt it. I severely doubt that. Um, what would be a good start? Right, let's have a look at the passenger numbers for the West Coast Main Line for a start. 13, so finances. We've got no finances yet, but overview. No, what do I want? I want... I'm in the wrong place. That's where I am. <laughs> Line manager. It has been a while since I played this game, so it'll take me a second to get back into my groove. 30 of 240. We got too much stuff on there. We need to trim that down if we're going to make any money. So, West Coast Main Line uh, is there. Vehicles. Okay, we're going to sell, uh, yeah, this vehicle. So, you go to the... D He's got three. We're going to lose that, but that's fine. Go to the depot and be sold. He can't find a path to depot. What about you? Go to the depot and be sold. Unable to find path. Once again. What about train four? Uh, oh, no. Yes, finally. Right, so we've got two trains on that line. Now we need some more efficient trains. So I'm thinking A3s with... Uh, let's use the three axle cars. Let's go for... No, we don't even need four of them, to be honest. Let's go for three. Replace now. You gain nine million. Damn, this is working out nicely. Right, middle and main line, slow. That's got too many carriages, I think. So, A3, yep. Three axle car. One, two, three. Right, okay, we've replaced all the trains, and they're getting ready. Actually, what we should do, you, uh, vehicle, you, go to the depot and be sold. I don't think it has a path. No, it doesn't. So, we need to wait for it to turn around. It's actually running quite full. That's surprising. Um, what would be the best way to do that? I'm going to speed out. I'm going to wait for him to go to London and empty those passengers, and then I'm going to tell him to go to the depot. Actually, no, I'm not. Uh, yeah, mm, I'm just going to reverse him, go to the depot. And that line, the middle and main line, slow. You can go. Right, so now we've made it a lot less of a money loser. London's growing, which is good. That's exactly what I wanted. I did put in this little bridge. I think this is quite cool. Uh, God, I forgot to use the camera then for a moment. I think that's quite a cool bridge. i got to be fair. I didn't even design it to look like that. It's just that's how it happened. Right, so time-wise, we got Brighton down here. We've got Plymouth over there, Aberystwyth, London, Birmingham, Liverpool, obviously, Norwich, Leeds, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Inverness... Belfast, this is Ireland, Dublin, and Limerick. That's okay. I'm just trying to get my bearings. I don't know if I said Ab Aberystwyth. I think I did. Right, how much? We got 130 million. Jesus. Um, I'm not sure if it was a good idea to take out all this loan. Um, okay, we need to build stuff. So... Uh, the problem is Liverpool's a terminal station. I don't really want to change that. Um, okay, what we're going to do... This is quite clever, I must say. We're going to run some tracks. Let's pause it a moment. I'm going to run some tracks. We're going to set up a new line we are. Ooh, actually, would it be better to run it from London? Okay, I've got some building ahead of me. That's I've just realised that. So I'm thinking... It might be a good time for a time lapse because we're going to build a new line and this new line is going to be absolutely awesome. So cue the time lapse.
Man, that was some tough terrain in Edinburgh. Jeez, look at that. I like that little tunnel there. Not so first on the big one, but eh. It would have been a pain in the ass to do it differently. So maybe in the future when it starts growing and we need more area. But until then, I'm fine with that. All that's left to do now is put in some local transport. I need to put in trains, obviously, and routes and lines and all that stuff. I also need to put in signals. But other than that, I think it's pretty much done. So I'm going to do that now. And I will bring you back once that is all done. Okay, guys, we've done that. We've perked everything up. The oh, let me walk you through it. It's quite complicated. So the West Coast Main Line before was if I can actually bring it up. There you go. Was on platform one. Is now there where the Midland Main Line was, and now it goes up to Birmingham through these two platforms, not those two. And it splits off here at this lovely triangle I made and goes into Liverpool. Meanwhile, the TP Liverpool to Glasgow starts in Liverpool, uses this track, splits here, that's just a depot over there, goes on the triangle, and that goes across to Leeds, Edinburgh, along this lovely, rough, but lovely countryside area. I need to smooth it off a little bit, but can do that over time. It's not finalised yet. Stops at Edinburgh, goes through this tunnel, and goes down to Glasgow. And then finally, the Midland Main Line no longer exists. That has turned into the London North West Regional, or Railway, whichever you want to call it. Which, uh, it's like it was before, but bigger. And now goes into these platforms, so it starts in Platform 1 in London, goes Birmingham, those two platforms, splits at the triangle, goes to Leeds, and then finishes in Edinburgh. And the reason only one stops at Edinburgh and one goes to Glasgow instead of both going to Glasgow is because I'm hoping they will swap between the two and it'll kind of even out the capacity in each one. Right, and road lines we have, let's just open this so we can see all the lines. We've got this green line in Glasgow, which just does a double loop round and back. In Edinburgh, we've got two lines because we don't have a turnaround depot there. We just have a bus stop, which goes all the way around the outside, basically. And it's pretty much the same in Leeds, to be honest. The only difference is it doesn't go around. It stops there and kind of spins around. It's unrealistic, but it'll do. And currently we're losing money on all our lines. So what I'm going to do as a protection policy, repay as much as a loan as possible. God, we still had like 75 million left. Jesus. We're still at 50 million, well, 40 million now. Something I will say... On my old series, I was playing on my original computer, which was an i5 and just basically crap. Now I've upgraded, I've got an MSI motherboard, i7, GTX 1080 Ti graphics card. And for the first time ever, I'm seeing this game at 100 frames a second, which is just incredible. I never thought you could do that in this game, no matter what your system was. So that's awesome. Look how many people are in Liverpool. Where are they all going? Glasgow, West Coast, this might actually work. We're in debt, but don't let that put you off. Still waiting for London to grow. I am considering... Uh, in fact, I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. What we're going to have is a bus line, intercity bus line. In fact, we could have more than one. Um, what would be the best way to do this? Because Brighton to London, that's like one of the busiest lines in Britain in real life so I'm not going to put in a train line yet but oh, we got no money of course um, how am I going to do this do I take out a loan oh, this is a tricky one are any of our lines making money what's losing the most the LN London Northwest Regional um, ok I'm going to borrow a million just to get us going and oh that's why we're in debt we went through new york i'm going to put that in so we can have like a circle route in uh, brighton in plymouth i'm going to put a road god that's expensive jesus and there's no way to get that down at all really okay what if we went along the coast a little bit more that's much better 191,000 i can live with that so we got a route in plymouth Aberystwyth I'm going to leave for now. Ireland I'm also going to leave for now. What I'm going to do in Ireland, I've had a little bit of a think about this. 
instead of extending this line across, I'm going to set up a separate transport network and island between Limerick, Dublin and Belfast. And then when we grow and get a really big company, that's when I'm going to put a bridge across and join the two networks up. I think that'll be really awesome. So in the next episode, hopefully, assuming this series goes well, we're going to do Ireland, I think. But for now, we need to get some bus stops in. So we want passenger stops, uh, just a normal bus stop will do. So it's coming in on this road, so it's going to go down here. And then down, let's go there. And there, and finally there. And then in Brighton, it's going to go, um, it comes in there, so it's going to go there. The cool thing about Brighton is it's got this like sort of maze in the middle, so we can have a proper intercity bus route which goes around town. That'll be sick, because that's like the town centre right there. And then it's going to go, uh, let's press stop there. And finally, one there. That is pretty much all we need. Now we need a line. And what are we going to call this? Um, Intercity Regional Bus, maybe? I don't want to do Intercity Bus Line or ICBM, which is, that's in um, Skystorm's videos, and I don't really want to copy that. Right, we're going to go there. We're starting in London. So we don't have to go around London because that's already been done by the other bus company, so they'll just change. And it's going to go down to Brighton, so it's going to go there, 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 and then back to London. And then it's going to go Plymouth, and that is going to go there, there. And then it is going to go right back to London, that's already done. I actually quite like that colour, I'm going to keep that colour. Uh, Intercity Regional Bus one that's what we're going to call that right now we need we can actually kick this off now play why not and uh, we're on f fast but actually no oh we got loads of time actually i was going to say no because we'll lose money at the end of the month but it's like the 10th so what are we going to use for these i think in the shower tushers again oh how much are they oh my god they're 131 thousand pounds i did not realize that uh, I don't really want to go for a post burst. I want something fast. Okay, we're going to have to just take out a loan, I guess. Our loan's at 30.5 million right now. Many as we can. Five is not enough. Borrow another half mil, 31 million. And that's all we can do. And this is going to be there. Perfect. And massively in debt again. God, they are loud. Fair play. So they're going to start spreading out. We're going to get passengers, hopefully. Right, are any of our lines making a profit yet? Nope, not at all. Ah, uh, this is bad. So many people, yet... Why are you... S no path. Okay, this is a problem. What if we flip? And you... Flip. Right, we've got a massive build-up on airlines, that's what the problem is. Flip. And hopefully... Wait, pause. Um, so we've got West Coast Mainline and London Northwest Regional. So let's bring up the lines. So that's on the right place. It's just the London Northwest Regional which needs to swap over. So let's just chuck a track on can't afford it what do you mean we can't afford it? we're gonna to have to afford this it's important and there now if we play it should clear up I hope so you I might have to hold you for a moment that's swapping over right stop there for me the next one is there at there are you going to switch over by yourself? I think, yes, there is a switch over point. And then, uh, is that on the right line? Yes, it is. Right, okay, so you can go again. I think that should work. I'm pretty sure that should work. 
Right, let, nope, they're going nose to nose, so you are on the wrong line. Now is it going to work? Hopefully, maybe. So that line's all done. We can get out of that. Right, that should work now. Are any other lines broken? Let me just have a look around. It's only the train lines that have this problem, really. So, are you going to be okay getting out of there by yourself? Yeah. They're starting to pick up passengers, which is a good thing. The Liverpool, London, uh, Liverpool, Glasgow lines working fine. We're losing over a million on one of our lines now, but that should hopefully improve. A lot of people in Glasgow, uh, in Liverpool, they're waiting for the West Coast Main Line. That's not a surprise. Any other build-ups of passengers? Uh, quite a few in London. Again, that'll be sorted. What about other cities? There's quite a few people there waiting. Going to Birmingham, Edinburgh and Liverpool. Quite a lot of people in Glasgow waiting. Where are they going? Oh, it doesn't say. So a train's going to pick them up. Does it have enough capacity to pick all of them up? Let's see. There's 42 of... Ooh. Huh, we've actually got too many people. That is perfect. That means that line should start making a profit. RP Glasgow is currently our least... Uh, well, our most profitable line in that it's only losing five grand, not millions. I think it just needs a little bit of time to pick up, to be honest. Those two trains racing each other, that is so awesome. Let's have a ride. Only a short ride into the station, but it's still a ride. Look at that, that is so cool. They matched for speed. That is awesome. Wow. Should we have a ride all the way down into Glasgow? Why not? Um, we should even have a ride back. Let's be honest, it's an awesome ride. So down this steep hill. Into this tunnel. And when we pop out, we should be into the station. There we go. Picking up everyone. There should be a counter to say how many on board. That sucks. Let's just pop out a moment to see how many's on board. 37, so we should start making a profit on this line, really. Back up to Edinburgh, up this quite steep hill. We're doing 42 there, which is good. Into the station. I just want to see it, this new line up in, through all the main dins with the tunnels and the viaducts. I spent quite a while choosing the bridges specifically to look like viaducts and find the main ranges. I think I did quite a good job to be honest. Also this little tunnel underneath us. That's pretty cool. And through the first tunnel, goes uphill a little bit, well quite a lot. Viaduct. Hundred and ten phase when we got off that. Is it making a profit yet? What line is this? TP Liverpool to Glasgow. It's not losing that much. It is not doing that badly. Through this mountain range, this steep tunnel. Ooh, we was profitable then. For a, for a split second, we was profitable. Damn. I have a good feeling about this, guys. The LNWR and the West Coast Main Line is coming back. This is awesome. we still got a lot of work to do, but this is absolutely awesome. So this is part one of our adventure. we still got people at every station. Not that many down here, but that's okay. London is built. Let's have a look at the populations. Uh, towns, population... London should be top, but it's not. Liverpool is second, Dublin's first. London probably was top until I knocked everything down. Where is London? Oh, London's still third. That's not bad. Birmingham, that's right in the sort of third the way down. The smallest town, as always, is Aberystwyth. 
That's the only town in this game which is in Wales. We're doing quite well. Let's have one little... Let's, uh, industry's not really important. That's all the vehicles. Ooh, what's making the most? The train to Liverpool and Glasgow. That's not a surprise. There's one the trains on the West Coast Main Line's making some money. Nothing yet making money, but as I said, it's only a matter of time. This is awesome. Oh, I love these viaducts. Look at that. That is so awesome. And there's one over here, like a shorter one. Ooh, we got a train passing. Look at that. That is so freaking awesome. And then finally, last thing I wanted to show you was this little cute tunnel down here. I put that in specifically. I thought that looks awesome. What we should do, just to make it look a little bit better. One thing I have noticed about this map is these lines sort of on the maintenance. You can smooth them out easily, but I don't know why they're there. That's, it would be nice if they weren't there, but you know, we can live with them. We can smooth them out over time. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this series, because it is experimental. I just wanted to see what you guys think. And I am willing to bring this back. I do love this game. Transport Fever has always been a very good game. I've always loved it. I just haven't had time to play it. But now I have. And I've got a computer which can actually handle it. So let me, let me know what you guys think. If you'd like to see another part to this. Another episode. And as always, I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.